guys, I'm as curious as you are, okay? But I've got enough people killed or cursed or their faces ripped off. Represent. <laughs> you could walk to an outhouse right now. You'd have met Deucey in your pantaloons. Mercedes, I love you. I loved the omelet. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure you didn't just intend to fuck this up in case you needed to eat us later. You know? Ladies. <laughs> She's got a point, but I don't think Mercedes is bad. Divorcing a Taurus and a community theater production of the Full Monty that the Purgatory Press called. Nobody asked for this. <laughs> I love Purgatory. I love I'm this happy town. To with him. I was just lighting nourishments for Halloween. <laughs> That's gonna do anything. Listen to me. Winona Earp. Nobody fucks with our family. Yes. Yes, the no. Go oh, I know no get him there. That's okay, Randy. Okay, let's go raid the clinic. I will get some oxy, a little morphine, and maybe a little something for you. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Whoa. Doc. Oh, where is he coming from? What is going on? Oh. That's him walking into that's Eden. Okay. Wait, get my known that oh wait the way over there. There's just multiple doors. Are those doors there? And then pillows? Turn back now. We believe. Save her, Doc, save her. I'm gonna try to pull in or something. This does not look like any garden I know. So. What in the world is that? It's like a nasty thing something one threw up. Something big threw up. I'm so happy. To see Waverly again. Oh my god. Oh, she's just so precious. I love her. But what is that thing? Why was it pulling her down? What the heck? That's so creepy. Where's your motorcycle? Oh. Everything. You're a legend. You ain't much. Shut up, you sexy peach collar. I don't deserve cheering up. Oh, oh, you want cheering up? I might have already been eaten by a giant dandelion. <laughs> she must hate me most of all. I know that. Ah. Oh. Pretty sure that wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> I know now, and they're called back you together. Ginger bitch. <laughs> Give me a big one. <laughs> <laughs> that I love this. This this oh, this show is fantastic. How do they open these doors? <laughs> they only got in because they're special. So unless you're like a, a, a bisexual angel or an undead gunslinger, oh no, no, you don't get to be the judge of who matters and who doesn't. Troy Waverly is a bisexual Just angel. A girl standing in front of a cop, asking her to forgive me. Oh my for god, her it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> One condition. No pranks. No lies. No going rogue. Total honesty. 
Yeah, I'm creepy. Like three and a half conditions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need her. We don't need anyone dying here. My dad's throne. Oh. The angel of came stone to protect the garden. Kids from what will show us anymore? There's something else. Yeah, there always is. Always. Oh, ma'am. Your keys just shall not be sitting upon this stone to Yeah, tree. you're not turning the stone away from it. Not happening. My legacy. Neat. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Fuck. How do you even do that? That takes a lot of strength. Cut through bones. Dang. Whoa. I'm still in shock from that. What? The light's going crazy. It's like, it's like some concert going on here. <laughs> Just three edge and talk for now. Oh! <laughs> this is fantastic. Fuck. Who knew you went that way? Squeezing him. I love it. Some of no more secrets. What are you telling me? I really repulsed me. And I believe Romans call it my known interruptus. Yep. It's more effective than the pill. I need a way hot wedding. Like, this show is not allowed to end until we get a way hot wedding. Just saying that. Putting that out there. Hashtag way hot wedding. Are they forgetting things and people? I'm falling asleep. What is going on? So that's not Valdez? Yeah, it's too young to be Valdez. This is we'll go. Not if you're yes. 16? Wait. I really doubt that. Since she took off on her own. Gloria Valdez is your mother. Oh, okay. I was close. Sorry. I was close. I was thinking that a couple seconds ago. I should have said it. I know what it's like to have parents. We don't say it when you actually write. You said you're here to help protect your family, not my parents. Okay. I know the lab is. I can get you in. Clever girl. Actually, it's Rachel. Rachel, okay, we got a name. Okay, but hi, Key. This is my sister. Follow me thing. closely and keep your mouth. Getting all timey wimey here, isn't it? Oh, God, no. Oh, don't do anything with me. Oh, no, don't do this. Don't hit yourself. Oh.
Oh, it's different this time. Oh. Okay. A flower there. Why? What happens if you step? I am so serious. Shut your mouth. Hey, you get it. Why do I have to be quiet if everyone's dead? That's a good question. Hmm. Choose one. Choose wisely. The Cole Hawk. Waverly Gibson. I know not. It's the other one. I'm guessing it was um, Doc. Who'd she choose? Which one did she choose? Come on. Whatever my mom was working on, the big glass door is locked. I'm watching the glass door. Enough to These keep a pandemic in. Where are tits right now, honestly, with the world? But, well, I guess some ropes, a mixture of pulleys, I could belay why not to do it first. Oh, yes, she's gonna blow this shit up. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is all alive. Oh, on, zombies. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah. they won't get really dead. <laughs> yeah, run. Yeah, chop off their heads now. <laughs> oh, boy, do you just throw a bomb left and right? This is great. Does he even care? Oh, the no, 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 no. Ooh. Ooh, I told that told you that thing was good for the walking dead. Using the whole system thing. They just want to stab in the head. <laughs> I love her. When she's fighting. She said, don't step on the grave. What? No! What are you doing, Winona? Don't give up! <gasps> no. Nicole's not dead. No. They wouldn't do more like that. No, she's fine. She's just traveling. She's going on the little vacay. She good. She good. No. Oh, wow. Tree is blooming animal. The snow. Okay. Okay. Hi. Oh! Nicole! The great leads you there, but how to get out then? I'm happy. To oh, what? 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 No, that's not to end. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, that went by so quickly. I don't want to wait another week. We need Wine on Up to just move to streaming or something so we can have it all at once. And then I would just stay up 24 7 for one day and just watch and react to all of them. I really would. That would be the one, this would probably be the one show I would do it for. Oh my god, I wrote so much down. I have so many questions. I have so many everythings to discuss here. I am so excited. Okay, um. Okay, calm down. Get to this. Um, let me just first go by characters. I think that's the best way to go by this right now. To rein myself in and kind of organize them a little more. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Um, first, gotta go Winona, of course. I love her, I love her attitude and the way she fights and just, she's able to have fun while fighting and being dramatic. Something bad is happening, she's able to make something funny out of it, which I love. I think that is great. 
And I try to do that in life, and I aspire to be as great as she is. She's a badass who can have a little fun and make fun of herself along the whole time. And I, I just, I love it. And I missed her. And she's just one of the most fantastic characters on TV. And to be, like, the female lead, lead of a show. She's not only the female lead of a show, but she's a badass one. Who's not perfect. She's not the worst. She's done some really bad things. She's done some really good things. She's just a real person. She's more real than a lot of other characters on TV where they're like, this is so perfect and they could do no wrong. Or like, oops, they get away with anything. Like, no, why not I get in trouble for the shit she does? She gets punched. <laughs> she, she doesn't always do things right, but she tries. And she fucks up. And she tries, and sometimes she does it right. It's it's human. She's It's very human. She's very real. I love her. She's very relatable. Okay, and now to my favorite character. Um, I'm sure this is most people's favorites. If not, I understand why no no close, so is Nicole. So a few others, but Waverly. Like, the one half of Wayheart. Well, it's just Wayheart at the end, because that's the most important thing to get to. But on Waverly, my little angel, literally. Um, we didn't get to see much of her this episode. But what we did, she was adorable. She was cute as always. She didn't really have much to do though, so this, uh, I'm gonna get to... I'll get to what happened with her later on here. But I just love seeing her. And I really need her and Nicole to have their reunion. Like, I need this now. I need Way Hot together. We've already gone a whole episode with that Way Hot. That is, that is hard. My my heart can't handle too much of Way Hot being separated. Just two years waiting for this. I need Way Hot on the same screen. We need to get the. Okay, next I'm gonna discuss Nicole. Nicole had good about to do this episode. I love Nicole because she's a very she's also very complex and she's very similar yet different than Winona. She's got the same attitude as Winona, a fight for the ones you love, never give up kind of thing, but also two very different people. Nicole's very tough and she's uh, she's very she's like she likes to follow the rules. She likes to be honest. She doesn't like to goof around that much. That's why I think Winona and Nicole have this best friendship thing, which was adorable for us all seeing this episode. But like they we seen throughout the seasons when they was it the one time on um, they were going to look on um, for my known as baby daddy that could be would baby daddy and uh, uh, Nicole was getting drunk for her and drinking her drinks and it was adorable and just when they have these little adventures together I think their chemistry is just amazing and I could watch it all day it's like it's the other way hot and I love it the friendship way hot. <laughs> I could watch. Oh, I just want more of that. And Doc? Okay, Doc. Ne Doc's the next one. Didn't get too much of him. Again, just like Waverly. But I, I just gotta say, I love that one thing where bleeding the guy out. <laughs> his face is in his butt. That was just pure TV magic gold. Like, nothing better than that. Let's be real. <laughs> that, that, that made my night. <laughs> Alright, and Jeremy. We didn't really see much of Jeremy. No. We saw him on knifing the thing in on um, Valdez into the wall and then get taken by the government. We don't know where he is now. He wasn't on the train with Nicole or Kate, so I don't know what's going on. All right, and then Nedley. Nedley got a good man to do this episode. And he's adorable. I just love Nedley. He he is he's that goofy sheriff who may act like. He doesn't like Winona and stuff, but he really does and really does try to help her. And it's like a father figure to her, and he's really kind. I, hopefully he's fine after that being that tack thing. I don't know what really happened with his injury, but I'm not letting him die either. He does, he's not like a main character, but he comes around. He, he kind of a good, rap, good rapport with Winona, the banter. It's adorable. I like it. I want more of it, but don't kill him. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, um, what else? Kate, she was there for a little bit. I like that she, well, she was there for a little bit, yes. I don't know if I said that correctly before. I found, it's sad, it's been, it's, I can't speak right now. It is 12.30, and I know I have to edit this once I'm done, so, and then it's going to take a while. 
So, sorry, my brain is just trying to go faster than I should be. Um, but Kate didn't really see much of her. I like that she helped Nicole. That was nice. I don't, she was a little extra, but she did end up, she's alive. She attacked the guy. I don't know what's happening with her. I don't know if she's just going to appear again later on in the season or if she's going to be coming back with next episode. She seems like one of those characters that's just going to kind of vanish and come back every once in a while. Which I'm fine with. She's nothing special to me, honestly. But who is? It's Mercedes. I love Mercedes. She's been one of my top tier characters. Like, she's not up there with, like, the regular characters, like, the ones that are every episode. But for reoccurring characters, Mercedes is number one. She's, like, very close to Nedley. But she beats Nedley just a little bit, just because she is hilarious. And has the best one-liners in our friendship, but Nainona is hilarious. They're both awful people. They know it, and they love it. And I love it. And I could see their friendship. They, it's like, it feels like they could be, like, college roomies, like, girls that were college roomies and grew up together and were, like, been besties for a long time. They're, like, the two outcasts of, um, Purgatory, and I like it. I just love them. I love Mercedes so much. She's, she's, she's great. Okay, um... Now to get some of the things that happened. First there was the whole Valdez thing. I was wondering who that was. We learned it was a woman. And I was like, okay, some kind of connection with Jamie. That's why I wrote it down. We learned that um, she's also a scientist that worked with Black Badge, like Jamie. And somehow she knows something about the garden or where they are. Has a door to the garden as we learned that great, which we'll discuss in a minute. Um, is some, Has something to do with the garden. Okay, and I was wondering who took... Jeremy, Nicole, and Kate, and try to take Mercedes and all that, um, and it, it, I guess, is it Black Badge? They said it was government. I'm assuming it's Black Badge, but I don't know. Because the person that took, um, Jeremy, I don't know, that was a weird gun. I don't know, if, if it's supernatural gun, though, it, could, it would make sense for it to be Black Badge. Because they have all sorts of supernatural stuff. But, I don't know. I don't completely think maybe, maybe it just could be Black Badge being back, but I feel like it could be something else, government, a new organization or something that replaced them, something darker and stronger, better, I don't know. And let's see, what else do I want to get? Um, let's talk about the garden. Um, does it not look like a garden? Just my opinion. If you guys have seen a garden that looks like that, good for you, let me know. I personally have never seen a garden like that, so... I'm going to say it's not the garden. My guess is it's something else, or maybe it was the garden. That's why the... Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's why maybe the garden's been dying, and because on um, Waverly put her blood in or something and turned the flower, and suddenly it made that tree appear, that it needs angel blood to bring back the garden. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But she can't give all her blood. It's not happening. I'd rather have Waverly and no garden. The Garden of Eden can go. I don't care. Waverly's more important than that. I'm just saying. And the whole well thing. Whatever was attached to Waverly and like trying to drag her down the well or something, but she was tied up and it was like a big ball of goo thing. Is there something in it? Is it a baby? Is it something whatever that creature is threw up? Is it the little creature, the beast thing? I don't know. I, I honestly don't don't have an idea. And it was interesting that though that on in the garden they they found that guy the black badge guy scientist he was bleeding himself and then he just chopped his freaking head off. What the hell? Why? That that is a little much. Definitely since I don't know if that's even possible. Like how do you? Like that's some strength. You're getting through a bone there. Like that's a lot to get through. I don't know, maybe it's also let me know. Do you guys know? Is it possible? Has someone really done that in real life? A clean cut like that? Or it would make sense if someone tried that and it, like, didn't get a clean cut. That would just be bad, though. That was a clean cut. Good for him. If he's gonna do it, you do it quickly and clean. Obviously, he was tortured there for so long. It's good for him to get away from that, but he was obviously feeding the beast. For some reason, it needs blood. And then suddenly, when they stopped feeding and stuff, and for some reason, when... On Waverly and Doc were in the above ground area, the area, the garden area. They were falling asleep and forgetting things. Why? What's going on there? It's like the longer you're in there, the more disconnected you are to the real world, maybe, and eventually you just get stuck there. That seems what happened with the guy that chopped his head off. 
that he didn't know who he was and he looked really confused about everything. Wow, I had a lot to write. I have like two pages here. <laughs> well, just like a page and a half. More than normal though. Such a good episode. Okay, next what happened is we learned about, um, we went to the place where Valdez was supposed to be, found Valdez's daughter though, Rachel. Which I like, Rachel character. She seems cool. She seems like kind of like a jaded teenage girl who's very similar to Winona. <laughs> She kind of reminds me of my sister Rachel just a little bit too, which is funny. I find that funny. And I find that I, whenever I spell the name Rachel, I always spell it my sister's way, who has A-E-L, which most are E-L. But even when I write it, no matter what now, I just always write A-E-L. Like I don't know the last time I've written the name Rachel spelled E-L. Do you guys know anyone that spells it A-E-L? I, I only know A-E-L. Like, I, now I met one Rachel in high school before she was E-L. I don't many, know many Rachels. Okay, but I liked her. I have a feeling she'll be around from the trailer. It seems like she's gonna be around for a little bit. And the notebooks. Ooh, this this was this. I have no idea. Um, when Waverly was in the room and it was like, choose one, choose wisely. And I definitely saw Nicole's, Waverly's, and why not? I'm guessing the fourth one was Doc. I couldn't really read it out. I have bad eyesight. Give me a break, people. But I don't know what that meant and why she chose who she chose. I don't. I'm guessing she chose Nicole. It seemed like in the direction her hand was going, Nicole, because why not? was closest to her. It seemed like she reached the other direction, but she could have grabbed Winona. But I don't know what that did. Maybe if she did grab Nicole next, we know Nicole ends up there, as we saw at the end of the episode. Because um, next talk about the great um. She said not to something great, going to be great. Nicole sacrificed herself for Winona, which was adorable. But then she just fell through. I knew she wasn't dead, but she ended up in the garden, which is interesting, and fully naked. And maybe also, I don't know what that's going to do. So we know they can get in from there now, but how do you get out? That's what we got to figure out now. How are they going to get out? Okay, last but not least, far from least, best thing we got to talk about is way hot. I'm going to say this again, I said earlier. We need a way hot wedding. We need it sometime. I, the, first of all, I gotta say, I want the show to go on for at least, let's say, five, five more seasons, minimal. Minimum, minimum. Five more seasons. That's the minimum I'm going to allow. And if we're gonna have five, at some point within the next two, maybe three seasons, I want a way hot wedding. I, no, I don't want any way hot wedding. I need one. I I can imagine this being the best wedding ever, and then Nedley would like walk them down the aisle, and uh, why no no would be like the best uh, the bridesmaid for maybe both of them. Honestly, I could see that. And the the bachelorette party would be amazing, hilarious, and there'd be demons or something attacking. And I would love it. I could see. I could. I'm picturing the episode in my head, the season in my head, the season preparing for the wedding. And it gives me chills. It gives me full on chills and I love it. I need it. Way hot wedding. Hashtag way hot wedding. Put it out there, people. We need it. Because no matter what, we're make we're gonna have a season five. It's gonna happen. I don't care what people think. I'm not I'm putting it into the world now. We're we're on uh, Winona uh, season five. It's happening. Put it out there, people. Put it out there. We are having it. Okay, and way hot. It's just, I need them together. We had a whole episode without them. I need them. They are so cute, and I need some more scenes of them. And they're just so cute. Oh, I love the one scene Waverly tried to remember when uh, uh, Nicole saying red hair, brown eyes. She kept saying it over and over, and she kept trying to think. Oh, she kept trying to remember her, trying to force herself, and it was so beautiful, so cute. Oh, okay, guys. I'm not going to talk much more now because it is almost well, a little before one. And I'm going to try to edit this, upload it, and get everything before I go to sleep. So I'm going to try to go to sleep before three. So wish me luck, you guys. And please, um, if you guys like this reaction, please leave a thumbs up down below. Press that thumbs up button. Press that subscribe button as well. That red button, rectangle, says subscribe. I'm sure you know what it looks like. You've seen it before click it, you could have clicked it by now multiple times, you could click it, unclick it, subscribe, and unsubscribe multiple times by the time I finish saying this, because I'm speaking really fast and I'm running out of breath. Also, comment down below, 
please tell me what you thought about this episode. Give me your theories. I will discuss this with you all day. I have nothing to do with quarantine and all this. So I am ready to discuss and comment all day about why don't know. There's so much to discuss on this first episode. This I could discuss every day until next episode and the next episode comes to be discussed every day. I am ready for theories, conspiracy theories of all sorts. I'm ready for um yeah, theories. And uh, reactions, yeah, <laughs> what you thought when you saw certain scenes, certain characters, certain things that happened. Let me know what you thought and what you thought of my reaction. And I don't know, just say anything. Say hi if you want. I'll say hi. Just in the comment section down below. It's so easy. Just, yeah, okay. <laughs> and um, there's really not much else to say, you guys. I'm so happy why Nona Ope is back. I'm so happy I get to react to it, that I have my channel up and doing all this. And I, it is worth it once a week to just not go to sleep point night and just wait till it comes out, react to it, edit it, and put it out there because I love you guys, followers, and I love Winona Up so much that it is, it is like the one show I will do it for. Let's be real. And maybe there's like one or two others, but so far this is the only show that's popped up that I'm like, immediately in my head I told myself I'm doing it the night of. There's no doubt about it. Other ones, I'm like, okay, I don't mind waiting the next day to do it. This one, no. I'm doing it right away. I can't wait that long to not see it. I don't want spoilers. It's like the show I can't do spoilers. No. I would be, I would not be able to sleep knowing there's things out there. It's people have seen this and not, I haven't. No. I would have serious FOMO. Serious FOMO. Okay, guys. It is late. I gotta get going to edit this. Get this out to you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really... Hope you guys loved the for episode one of Why Known Up so far, and I hope you guys come back next week to watch the next episode. Check out some of my other reactions as well to other shows and animes I watch, and yeah. So, good night, you guys. Bye.